Kai Tung Yi from iloveinteracialove.com. How many of you out there are tired of how frustrating and difficult and tiresome it is to deal with all of the challenges that you have to face in an interracial relationship? How many of you just want to enjoy the happiness that you found when you fell in love with that special person that just happens to be outside of your race. How do you keep the fires burning in the interracial relationship that takes you from I date to I do? Sometimes you can learn a lot when everything falls outside of your pocket. This happened to Seth and I when we were riding our bicycles the other day along the boardwalk in Rockaway Beach. Seth in a bump, everything in the basket flew, Everything in his pockets fell. A tall black woman gets up from the bench and says, I gotcha, I gotcha. I got three boys, so I know all about what it's like to pick up after them, especially this one over here. She looks over her shoulder with a half smile to her tall, lanky son sitting on the bench watching her from a distance. But that's all his father, him being Chinese and all. Always have to be taking care of him. Turns out, this lady has been happily married to her Chinese husband for over 20 years with three gorgeous sons. Did his family have any problems with her? And did her family have any problems with him? She did that, you know, you listen here, neck twist thing, and said, no, we didn't have no problems, me being black or him being Chinese, because my husband, he's just cool, period. Cool, it turns out, according to her, means he took the time to meet everyone in her family, to get to know each one personally, and he was there for all the good times, all the bad times. And he was that person that everyone could not help then she said, him being so good and all made me want to be even better at making him happy. I cook for him when he comes home. I give him three boys who are all good, all gorgeous. And when it's just time for my husband and me, I am dancing naked in heels. She tossed her head back with that defiant smile and said, I never used to feel comfortable with myself the way I looked always try to hide my stuff, but now that my boys are grown and it's just my husband and I, feels good to just give my best and to look my best. So there you got it. This is her secret to a mixed marriage that succeeds. It is work and you gotta look good, you gotta be good, and you gotta be cool, just like her husband. And you have to be good enough and look good enough to dance naked in heels. Well, there's some good advice, and that's a great image to keep in mind. So, in the comments below, tell me, what is the key to your mixed love? I want to know how you keep your interracial relationship alive and kicking. Remember, you can't go wrong if you start off being cool, and you look good, good enough to dance naked in heels.